Welcome to Jyoti Hydroponics Farm videos. I hope everybody is doing well in their life. Today, I'll be showing you the second part of setting up polyhouse for our hydroponic system. In our previous video, we had seen how the alignment of the foundation was done and how much attentive you should be while installing the foundations. So, Let's move forward with the formation of arc for the polyhouse and how you need to be attentive there as well. I'll discuss about the same. So be very careful while you are watching the video. So let's move forward. As you can see here, our polyhouse expert for hydroponic system, they are placing the arcs in such a way that they can type all the nuts of our polyhouse before making it a standing structure. So when they do this, we need to be very careful so that we can check out that all the nuts, they are tight properly. We don't want nuts to be loose, otherwise our polyhouse can crash like anything. So as you can see here, the polyhouse expert for our hydroponic system, they are placing all the arcs in such a way that they can tight all the nut and bolts properly. So we need to be very careful here when they do this because we need to check ourselves that all the nuts and bolts they are properly installed and they are tight while placing these structures at their own place. We need to be very sure that all the nuts and the bolts that are used to place this structure of arc in place, all these nuts and bolts, they are checked and verified that all are in the right position and they are properly tightened. So let's move forward. Now, this is actually a kind of uh, drip that we are using, that we will be using in the later stage. I'll just show you that as well. As you can see this, these are actually the foggers, I would say, I'll just show you once again. Now these are actually plant foggers, specifically used to do fogging onto the plants so that the temperature doesn't go very high nearby the plants area, these ones. So it's a kind of added advantage that we are using in our plants. So not a big deal. Let's move forward. Now, as you can see here, all the frames, they are kept and these people, they are now placing these frames and they'll be making sure that they are placed properly and they are tightened properly. As you can see, they are using nut and bolts and they are placing it on the right place so that it's easy for them to make it in a standing position. As you can see here, this is how it looks after these are placed properly. All these nuts here, you need to pre-verify it before making it a standing structure that all these are, they are tightened properly with the help of nuts and everything. So you need to be very careful while doing this. As you can see, after tightening all the nuts and bolts of the frames here, this is how they make it vertical stand for the polyhouse structure. So all these are placed and then after placing, after tightening all the nut and bolts, they just make it a kind of uh, standing structure with the help of a lot many laborers work here. So this is how it's being done. And it's not a rocket science here. It can be done very easily with the help of people. So as you can see here, how they are doing it, just you'll just get to know how easy for them it's how easy it is for 
our polyhouse expert people to make a standing frame of polyhouse but definitely you even the farmer here have to be very attentive while these people they do this As you can see, these nuts here, they are not properly tightened here because it's not going completely straight. So after they make the standing structure vertically stand, after this, they climb and then they tighten all the nut and bolts here so that it's fixed properly before setting up all the polyhouse structure here. So let's move forward. Here, this is the cocoa peat that we'll be using for the substrate for our plants. This is the cocoa peat here, the complete cocoa peat that we'll be using for our plants to stand. And this would give us the and this would give the complete support to our plants to stand in our hydroponic system. So we were not having actually space to store somewhere else. So we had to dump it here. And after the polyhouse is constructed completely, we'll be buffering it, we'll be washing it here itself and then transferring it to our polyhouse. I'll show you the same in the later part of the videos as well. Now here, after the complete structure, it's in a standing position. We are now installing, applying sheets on our polyhouse. And this stretching of sheets on the polyhouse has to be done in the daytime only. I'm re again repeating it. This stretching of sheets has to be done during daytime only. And there is a reason for this. And that is when you stretch these sheets during daytime, it is hot that time. So when it's stretched properly during daytime and gradually the night comes the temperature goes down so that time we get to know if there are any wrinkles left or not so to get these sheets stretched for a polyhouse has to be done during the daytime only so that after the next morning we get to know if any of the sheets they are loose they can get it done properly once again the next day so daytime stretching of sheets has to be done during the daytime only. Don't go with morning or evening stretching time. Get it done during daytime only so that we have the minimum chances of wrinkles producing on our sheet. So this has to be done during daytime only. Now, as you can see here, this part of our polyhouse just got completed after a few days and I'll in the next video, I'll show you how the polyhouse looks completely and what all other things has to be taken care of before getting the hydroponic setup done for a polyhouse. Now, earlier part, the first video prior to this was for installing the align alignment of the poles. The next part of the video is installing the sheets and making the vertical structure of our polyhouse. So when we make the vertical structure of our polyhouse, we need to make sure that all the nut bolts are tightened properly and the sheets that are being stretched and applied on the profile using springs has to be done during daytime only, not in morning or not in evening. It has to be done during the daytime only so that we get the complete clear picture about our polyhouse that there are no wrinkles made in night 
or in day after stretching the poly sheets. We'll meet up in our next video wherein I'll show you what we'll be doing to set up our hydroponic farm in this poly house. Till then, goodbye and have a nice day.